Hello and welcome into the video illustration. In this video we will be continuing with the book Let Us See written by Yashavant Kanitkar. So let's just hop in and see what else we got in this book. Data types in C refer to an extensive system used for declaring variables or functions of different types. The type of a variable determines how much space it occupies in storage and how the bit pattern stored is interpreted. Four primary data types are integer, float, character and void. A storage class defines the scope and lifetime of variables or functions within a C program. They precede the type that they modify. We have four different storage classes in a C program minus auto, register, static, and extern. You learn about each storage class in the book with illustrated examples. An array is a group or collection of same data types. For example, an int array holds the elements of int types while a float array holds the elements of float types. Arrays can be single dimensional or multi dimensional. Arrays can be initialized and used in multiple ways. Strings are defined as an array of characters. The difference between a character array and a string is, the string is terminated with a special character called null character. String has some of its function defined for within it to be used like Catenation of two strings Comparison of two strings Converting strings to upper or lower character and much more. A structure is a user-defined data type in C. A structure creates a data type that can be used to group items of possibly different types into a single type. A structure basically consists of three parts structure name, struct keyword and structure member. An array of structure can be used to store an array and perform different operations with it. Through C has no keywords to perform input-output operations it has to be dealt with at some point of the other. Operating system has its own facility for input and output data from into the files and devices. The screen and keyboard together are called a console. Functions to receive input from keyboard and write output to screen are called as console IO functions. It's of two types formatted and unformatted. The other type of input output function is file input output functions. They are used to perform input output operations on a disk. Multiple operations can be performed on a file are Creation of new file Opening of existing file Reading from file and many more. You will learn about these in the book in detail. Moving on you are going to also learn extra things in the book like More issues with the input-output functions Learning about bitwise operator and their operations And some miscellaneous features of the C so that's all for the video we have almost covered all the topics of the book and have given a brief about each topic. The new edition of this classic book has been thoroughly revamped but remains faithful to the principles that have established. The language used is easy to understand. Fully working examples adds more glaze to it. Also end of chapter exercise is provided to practice the skills and your knowledge. Hope you have liked the video. Please share and subscribe to our channel for more video on our books.